In this video, we'll be discussing about the complement system. The complement system is a part of innate immune system that enhances or complements the antibodies and few immune cells to wipe out the pathogens and damage itself of its own via immune clearance. The complement system involves 30 plus soluble and bound proteins present in the plasma. And we already know it's a part of innate immune system, but it can be recruited into action by acquired immune system also. Now let's see the functions of complement system. It aids in the lysis of bacterial cells and pathogens. It helps in opsonization. It aids in inflammation and in immune clearance too. So these are the major functions of complement system. Now first of all, let's see its components. The complement system has got complement proteins. It has proteins from C1 to C9. It involves antibodies during classical pathway. It then needs some factors like factor BDP in alternative pathway. Then it also involves lectin in lectin pathway, which further needs two proteins, MASP1 and MASP2. The proteins from C1 to C9 are in inactive state before fixing the complement. To make them active, these C proteins are cleaved into two fragments, A and B fragment. In most of the cases, the B is the larger fragment and A is the smaller. And this B fragment is active C protein, while as the smaller fragment, that's A fragment, is inactive. But it must be noted here, in case of C2 protein, when it's cleaved into C2A and C2B, the C2A is active and is larger, while as C2B is smaller and inactive. Furthermore, if we classify the complement system, we see it is driven through three pathways. It has got classical pathway, it has got alternative pathway and lectin pathway. All the three pathways meet at C3 activation and from here we get the common pathway. So let's discuss the classical pathway first. The classical pathway is antibody dependent pathway. Here in this diagram we can see we have got the microbe or pathogen in the circulation and to launch the classical pathway of complement system the antibody attaches with the microbe as shown in the diagram thus giving us the antigen antibody complex. The antibody here is IgG or IgM antibody. Then after we see the complement protein starts to work in. First of all C1 protein comes into action in the form of complex. Here we see C1 complex binds with the antibody bound to antigen. This C1 complex is the C1QR2S2. When the C1 complex binds with the antibody, it gets activated and starts the cleavage of complement proteins. First of all, it cleaves C4 protein into C4A and C4B. Then it cleaves C2 into C2A and C2B. After that, the C4B and C2A combines together and forms an enzyme complex called the C4B2A. This is called the C3 convertase. So by its name, it works on C3 and cleaves it or converts it into C3A and C3B. The C3A helps in inflammation, whereas C3B combines with the C3 convertase. Thus we end up with a new enzyme with the following combination. We have now C4B2A3B, which is known by the name of C5 convertase. So in the next step, we see this C5 convertase acts upon C5 and converts into C5A and C5B. Now let's keep these things here and move towards the target membrane, which is the pathogen membrane. We see the C5B molecule recruits C6 and C7 proteins and gets into the membrane of pathogen as shown in the diagram and we get the C5B67. Then this complex recruits another complement protein called the C8 protein. And we get the complex in the form of C5B678. And this complex has capability to polymerize C9 molecules into the pathogen membrane. So we see in this diagram that C5B678 initiates the polymerization of C9 molecules into the pathogen membrane and eventually we get the poly C9 in the pathogen membrane 
and this forms the pore in the membrane and is called the MAC or MAC membrane attack complex. Through this MAC, there is influx of calcium ions and many other electrolytes into the target cell, which eventually brings about the bursting of cell through osmotic lysis. So this is how this complement system works with the classical pathway. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.